Hi, I'm Scott Coughlin, and this is EM4 Minutes, very brief conversations with fish tech innovators who are working to improve data streams and evolve fisheries management. And I'm here today with Joanna Pierre, a New Zealand-based fisheries consultant. Welcome, Joanna. Thanks very much, Scott. It's good to be here. Good to see you. Uh, so today, July 1, 2023, I just posted an article of yours to uh, EM for Fish, titled being EM Optim, a new open source tool for determining budget appropriate EM review rates. So talk a little about this new tool, Joanna, and how it came about and uh, how people can use it. Sure. Thanks, Scott. So our work was funded by Pew through their International Fisheries Project. And my colleagues on the project were Alistair Dunn, Abby Snedeker, and Morgan Wealty. And our brief from Pew was to provide recommendations on appropriate EM review rates uh, that would meet different fishery management and monitoring objectives. So cost-efficient EM review was a key focus for Pew, uh, with cost perceived as an important potential barrier to EM adoption. And so we looked at different fishery data needs and EM case studies globally and developed the model, EM Optim, that can be used to explore EM review rates for any fishery. So that's great. And, and EM review rates obviously being a key cost driver and in EM. And so I know a lot of people have kind of come at that from different angles over the years. But uh, how does the EM Optum tool differ from what other tools that might have been developed? So uh, for decades, fisheries practitioners have obviously been talking about how much monitoring is needed to get good fishery information. Uh, for example, an understanding of catch composition that includes more commonly caught species as well as rarely caught species. And generalized estimates of these rates are available and have been for years. Um, and there are also some publicly available models that enable users to investigate, for example, single species coverage requirements. Uh, the key points of difference for EM Optim are that it's extensively customizable for users who want to answer questions about monitoring coverage requirements. For example, it enables users to consider optimizing monitoring regimes across as many species as they wish. Uh, it can take a stratified approach to focus monitoring where it delivers the best value, for example, in space or time or among fleets or flag states or gear types or vessel types or anything else. Um, the model includes a cost function to help users understand the cost implications of different monitoring regimes and to work out something that's budget appropriate. And any type of information can be incorporated in the model. For example, in some fisheries, obviously, there is detailed fishery specific information. In others, this is not the case. And in such cases, information like expert opinion, um, generic fishery information, risk assessment information, and so on can be used, all depending on what the user has access to. And so our project is now complete. Uh, the model code is freely and publicly available on GitHub um, in Pew's repository. And the project report is online at EM for Fish. Um, and this includes a worked example of the model as an appendix, which we hope will help users trying to navigate it for their own purposes. It sounds great. It sounds flexible and powerful. And I'm, I'm so glad you put it together. Congrats to you and the rest of your colleagues who worked on this. Um, and it's, as, as you mentioned, it, it is linked uh, from, from the EM for Fish article. Uh, how can people reach you, Joanna? Well, you're, you're in our, uh, our EM for Fish community directory, but uh, how, can, how can people also learn a little bit more about you and your consulting work? Sure. Um, so I have a website, and um, that's www.jpec.co.nz for JPEC, and always welcome communications on email and so on as well. Great. Well, congrats again. Thanks a lot for joining me today in this brief EM Four Minutes conversation, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Great. Thanks so much, Scott. Yeah. Bye-bye. Cheers.